It's defined often uh, in three pillars. And these are observing logs, metrics, and traces. And logs, you know, quite simply are a record of something happening. It's a log. Think of it as a diary, you know. Uh, metrics are a measurement. You know, what's, you know, um, throughput at this point in time? And then give me another point and another point. You have a time series uh, of those. And traces are looking at the relationships. Think of those as transactions. So something's initiated in one app uh, and it's consumed, you know, uh, in another. Now, those are incredibly important things. The tracing, uh, especially, in, and we talked about microservices earlier, especially in the microservices world, doing distributed tracing and tracing between different applications has required newer technologies than the traditional transaction tracing of the APM world. So all of this is very good, but it's really missing a key component. I like to think of observability now as a four-dimensional, not just a three-dimensional analysis. And that fourth dimension is a temporal dimension. And I know when I say temporal, it sounds like we're talking about Star Trek and the multiverse, but that, that's not where we're going at all here. It's time. So this is what it looks like, but what did it look like an hour ago? What did it look like you know, yesterday? And that's a fundamental piece of information that's necessary for you to have because it helps explain well, why did it work before and it doesn't work now. So capturing logs, metrics, and traces is great at explaining the current state, but not why is the current state that and why wasn't it that an hour ago? So if we elevate observability into a four-dimensional process and add time or change, let's put it that way, and change to logs, metrics, and traces, we get a much deeper understanding uh, for this. And from this, we can better understand what impact the change made, if it did, and put that into relationship with the logs, metrics, and traces, and better explain the problems we're having, the problems we might have, you know, in terms of potential risk as well. And this will produce more stability, greater customer experience, and more opportunity for innovation and agility because you can more safely run at a faster speed because you have that awareness of change added to the other three elements of observability.